Hey guys, today we are going to create an illustration with subsurface scattering in Cinema 4D. I'll let you the assets and all the source files in the description box, so let's get started. Well guys, uh, we need the model in the description. This model, well, you can use any model really, but if you want to do the exact illustration, you need this model, okay? The first thing is prepare the scene. We're creating a disk here in the creation panel. Let's generate a disk. And this disk is the other radius. We need to upscale it. And now we make it editable with this button or the shortcut keyboard C. Now we go to the live selection tool and selecting the polygon mode. We are selecting the uh, all the inside uh, polygons and delete them. Now we are going to create and apply a subdivision surface. The disk is on the subdivision surface, and we're going to rotate this one. Select it and rotate, something like that. Maybe 75 degrees. This position is variable, you can experiment with it, but uh, I think it looks good like that. Also the skull, rotate and move a little bit. And now uh, we need to create a camera. Click here, click here. For this camera we need to create a tag, a Cinema 4D tag. Cinema 4D tags and its protection tag. This tag prevents that we move the camera by accident, okay? Now, um, we need to make an, uh, a sphere, uh, kind of like the moons of the planet. Just the sphere in the creation panel. Move it and uh, scale it. Now, if you press Ctrl and drag the model, you can make a copy. We need three. Three with different sizes and positions, okay? something like that and now uh, we get back to the camera everything looks good and now we need a light we we're going to create an area light and position it just behind the model let me get out of the camera and uh, let me see just uh, move it in the position and make it bigger maybe rotate it more uh, towards the planet in this case and the light must be uh, casting shadows soft shadows and uh, we can click render and you can see the the shadow and the highlight it looks good um maybe further and bigger so that it also affect the spheres now we need to go to the render settings and look for the effects uh, we need to activate a global illumination and ambient occlusion now you click on render and you can see that the process is different but it looks really better now double click to make a material and drag it to the planet double click on the material and we need to disable the color tab and make active the luminance tab now in the luminance tab if you click render you can see the the planet is casting light now for the texture of the luminance we need to make an uh, subsurface scattering effect now um, inside of the effect of the shader we need to create a color that is inside of the model maybe a bluish one and if you hit render this is taking a little longer and uh, you can see it looks good the all the parts that been affected by the light is translucent and this side is kind of uh, darker you can modify it how much uh, the light affects this model and uh, maybe the path length in one and you can see if the value is lower the model becomes more dense okay more solid 
if I raise this value, maybe, maybe 50, uh, the result is kind of jelly. Also, the light is uh, affecting this model. Select the light and set the intensity value up to 200. And if you hit render, now you can see how the model is affected by, by the change of the light. And we need to create a sky and also a material. Double click on the material uh, panel and double click to change the diffuse texture. I'm going to select the space one in the assets and drag it to the sky and let's see hit render nice that's it looking really good now for the rings I want it to be white so I'm creating a white material and drag it to it and for the moons, I'm going to duplicate this material and uh, drag it to the moons. Maybe a, a little variation of, of luminance, kind of a little tweak to the green side. And let's see. Hit render, that looks great. But now, um, how can we achieve the same result in Octane? If you don't know, Octane is a render engine uh, that uses the, the graphics card to make it and it's kind of real time, uh, the calculation and you can see the progress in real time and it's great, it's great, it's actually quite good. Now uh, we need to make a material in the object in the material tab the spectral material and we need to drag it to the skull and in the transmission uh, which is the transmission of the light we are gonna change the color the also set it to blue now the the crystal is blue right but in the medium we need to uh, add a scattering medium let's click and uh, now everything is darker Okay, because the scattering is uh, have some values. In the absorption, we are adding an octane RGB spectrum, which is gonna be applied also in the bottom one. Okay, now we need to enter to the shader and change all, uh, the two colors, maybe one blue and one uh, purple. Apparently it doesn't change anything, but that's because the density. The density is kind of like the path length in the native render engine than the re in native way. If the number is higher, more dense the model. Now let's decrease this value and watch how the model let more light pass through. Let's uh, modify the roughness. If you raise the roughness value, we can see that all the crystal type material makes more uh, matte, okay? Now, this is starting to uh, look good, but the light is missing. Why the light is missing? Well, because the light is a regular light and we need an octane light. So, uh, let's go to objects and uh, make an octane area light let's delete this light let me let me position this octane light uh, this is the sky uh, this is the light now you can rotate it something like this maybe a little bit bigger and more to the back you can see how it's changing now i know that doesn't look the same is the treatment different but also we need to change the channel for uh, direct lighting to path tracing now this takes considerably longer but the calculation is better now in the gear we are uh, decreasing the samples 
for 1500 so we can see the results a little quicker okay and in this case when you can uh, make the render you can uh, increase this value to a higher value now uh, we are going to uh, hide the light in the visibility tag of the light we need to uh, decrease the number to zero that uh, doesn't uh, affect the model at all and uh, the, vis the light is not visible anymore now we need to change the density to make a little more contrast and to generate a more interesting effect in this type of illustration uh, for the camera we need to add a tag as uh, octane tag uh, camera tag now now we need to disable the auto focus and let me drag this a little bit and uh, the aperture we need to increase it and the uh, focal depth also we need to modify it in a way that uh, maybe uh, let me uh, get out of the camera and if you see the camera have a focal point so this focal point needs to be on the skull maybe a hundred or um, a thousand okay now we're getting back to the camera and uh, now we are going to uh, rise the aperture and uh, if you can see the the blur is is looking really really good once you're happy with the result you need to go to the octane settings and set the samples value up to 16,000 now for the render settings we need to change the render type from standard to octane render also we need to modify the save tab by changing the path or in the in the format of the file and the alpha channel if you want alpha in the same picture you need to click on straight alpha also we need to change the values of the output tab we need to set the size of the frame and in the frame range we need to set it to current frame so cinema 4d can export only one frame if you want the background of the picture to be transparent then you need to go on the uh, octane settings and click to the alpha channel now as you can see the background is disappeared finally click render and once you have the picture you can go to photoshop and put any background you want with more control well, I hope you find this tutorial useful. Here is a video that you need to see the subscription button and the link to mastereffects.com where you can find these tutorials in high quality and totally ad free. So thank you for watching. I'm Master Effects and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.